Hey, good morning all. Uh, yesterday we were discussed on uh, stress block parameters. Okay, today we will be discussing on uh, uh, how to calculate the moment of resistance or ultimate moment of resistance of a beam. Right? Okay. So here it is uh, quite different uh, as compared to uh, the previous session. Okay. Uh, in this session, uh, based on the stress block parameters. We will be uh, finding out uh, the equation for moment of resistance. Okay, first I'll tell you what exactly the moment of resistance is. Okay, here for example, uh, already a building is constructed, but you don't know what exactly the capacity of that building or any of the structural element. For example, you take it as beam. Okay, as I said, the first two modules are mainly depends on. Okay, ma mainly deals with the analysis and design of beam itself okay so here it is uh, in the present situation okay i don't know what exactly the capacity of beam okay for example your home is constructed okay it is of only one floor okay but your parents are planning okay somebody is planning to construct another floor over that that house but you don't know what uh, the structural dimensions of or structural detailing of the sections which you are used in your home okay in that case what happened you must know the capacity of beam unless until you okay you find out the capacity you are not able to construct another floor over that one because the loads will come over the beams okay but you don't know the capacity okay but you have some minimum structural details or uh, you have you know what exactly the reinforcement and concrete is used okay so that can be based on those parameters you know what uh, what is the grade of concrete uh, grade of concrete grade of steel as well as uh, the number of bars used and what is the okay dimensions of a beam okay which easily can find out okay these parameters can easily find out okay, these can be easily uh, find using uh, the moment of resistance equation okay before that we must uh, uh, okay uh, find out the equation for moment of resistance to find out moment capacity or ultimate moment of resist okay moment of resistance or ultimate capacity of beam okay that you need to find out okay this is the flex okay flexural capacity or moment capacity of a beam or moment of resistance of a beam okay as i said in your home if we have beam over that we are going to construct another wall okay but whether it is safe or not that i need to find out okay in in the present equation first we will derive the equation next we will use that equation to find out the capacity of existing structural element or existing beams okay so here it is as i said there is a equilibrium there should be equilibrium condition that is in stress block parameter okay always we try to make uh, or we, we try to bring the neutral axis okay exactly at the center of the beam okay here we have discussed uh, uh, in last class that is balanced resection always we'll try to make it as a balanced resection balanced means what equilibrium condition so when it is equilibrium obviously compression okay uh, the top fibers are in compression and bottom fibers are in tension okay when it comes to the equilibrium condition both are in equal and opposite direction okay equal in magnitude and opposite in direction okay so here compression and tension will be in different direction you can see the arrows also okay here compress compress strength of uh, or compress stress is c is equal to 0.36 fck xu b okay here it is compression c is equal to 0.36 fck is grade of concrete xu is okay as i said when it comes to equilibrium x will be equal to xu max okay you take it as xu here Okay, we'll be finding out uh, the X U also, and B. B is the breadth of B is the breadth of B. Okay, and next one when it comes to the tension or tensile force, T is equal to zero point eight eight seven F Y A S T. That is nothing but zero point eight seven is uh, it's a uh, these are all factor of fifty. Whatever the numbers we are using here, these are all factor of fifty for materials that is 15% of factor of safety for the steel f y is nothing but the grade of steel f c k is nothing but concrete okay here only 36% of the actual strength is considered here only 85% of the 
actual strength is considered while calculating or while uh, finding the capacity okay fy is grade of steel ast is area of steel how many bars you have provided okay area is depends on how many bars you have provided in the beam okay here in this figure we have three bars three bars of tolemm you take okay so area of one bar is how much tolemm dia means its area is pi by 4 d square into how many bars are there three bars okay three into pi by 4 d square okay, d is tolemm okay based on that we will be finding ast okay one by one we'll discuss okay and liver arm what is the distance okay this distance we call it as liver arm okay i'll tell you uh, what exactly the liver arm is okay so here it is okay, as i said the equilibrium condition is there so what i will do okay i'll go for equilibrium compression is equal to tension okay so you know what exactly compression is and what exactly tension is okay from is456 page number 96 there is an equation is there already der derived equation in is456 2000 okay so here before uh, solving any of the problems in this subject you must have indian standard 456 2000 okay there is a code book indian standard code book you must take it as a at least you have soft copy of that or if if possible you take a hard copy of uh, this is 456 okay, so that we can follow easily okay uh, while calculating or uh, while you need to take uh, it's like a data handbook okay so you need to take some data from uh, is 456 okay even it is allowed in the examination okay so you must have is 456 2000 so here it is here what happens uh, this one Com when it comes to compression is equal to tension here compression is equal to tension this is 0.36 fck a little bit i'll make it zoom So here it is, uh, here you can see compression is equal to tension, okay. So it is 0 0.36 FCK XUB is equal to 0 0.81 FIST. These are all the known data, okay. The 0.36 FCK is uh, known, B is the breadth of beam, FY is uh, 415, okay, this AST is the already, if it is uh, existing beam, okay, obviously you will know about grade of concrete, breadth of beam. Uh, grade of steel which you have used AST area of steel you used okay whereas you need to uh, only find out depth of neutral axis it's actual depth of neutral axis you don't know where exactly the depth of neutral axis falls okay so that can be calculated by using this equation so x you keep it as a uh, keep it on left hand side okay? you bring uh, this 0.36 fckb okay so this is 0.87 fy AST divided by 0.36 fckb okay on both sides you divide uh, b Okay, D is another parameter, X U by D. Okay, whatever the equation given in the code book is uh, is X U by D itself. Okay, so you can check. Okay, I S four five six. You take or you download uh, this I S four five six. Go for page number ninety six. Okay, so this will be I S four five six page number ninety six. We have equation X U by D is equal to zero point eight seven F I A S T divided by point three six F C K B D. On both sides, we are dividing it by D. Okay, so here it is uh, this one. Uh, this is all about the equation for depth of neutral axis okay so here it is here we have depth of neutral axis x u okay to find out this to find out this will be what, what we'll do we'll be finding or we'll be using this compression and tension right compression and in compression as well as tension in a beam and when it comes to liver arm what is that liver arm this is 0.42 x u okay where exactly the cent uh, the cg of compressive force will act from the top to that cg of compressive force will be 0 0.42 times xu if it is xu this will be 0 0.42 xu if xu varies this also varies right okay so remaining thing from the center of the reinforcement to the cg of the compression we call it as a liver arm z is equal to total this d minus 0 0.42 so whatever arrow is there d minus 0.42 x u this we call it as a liver arm that is the distance between the tensile tensile force as well as compressive force is treated as is treated as the liver arm okay t is equal to 0 0.87 fi ast c is equal to 0 0.36 fck xub the distance between the compression and tension we call it as the liver arm okay this will cause moment oh, for example i think uh, you might have done uh, 
this one analysis of uh, beams or analysis of truss okay so with respect to one point you people have calculated uh, moment to find out the internal forces okay uh, in your uh, Uh, unless of ads okay unless of determinate structures you might have done a truss analysis you have done right in a similar way with respect to one point you okay, find we are just finding the moment okay moment with respect to one point one point okay here it is the okay, moment with respect to one point means what here i am taking moment with respect to with respect to this c okay here you can see okay this c point okay, i'll check uh, Yeah. Sorry, unable to mark. Okay, so here with respect to this point, here you can see with respect to this point. So what happens? So what I will do? I will be finding moment with respect to this point. Okay, that is this force into distance T into Z. Okay, so here moment will be calculated. Okay, here moment will be calculated. So M U is equal to T into Z. Z is nothing but the lever arm. T minus point four two X U. You know what is the value of T? Okay, that is point eight seven F I A S T. Already we have taken here. Okay, so T is equal to what? Zero point eight seven F I A S T. Right? Okay, so here what happens when it comes to zero point F I zero point eight seven F I A S T? Okay, so here. Okay, and d is nothing but d minus point four two x u. X u is already we have derived equation for x u, right? So, okay, I got uh, good morning messages. Thank you. Good morning. Okay, so here we got uh, first we will derive a moment of resistance equation. Okay, so T into D minus point four two x u. Okay, you know, okay, whatever the known values are there, you just substitute. You know, value of T and as well as x u. Okay, from where we go, uh, where we got this equation, M u moment is equal to force into distance. Okay, here we have this force is tensile force is zero point eight seven f with respect to the compression. Okay, so it is Z is this distance is D minus point four two x u. Okay, total it is D. And top of the beam to the center of the CG of the compression is 0.42 xu, and distance between tension and compression is d minus 0.42 xu. This force into distance will get a moment. Okay, so that's why I have taken m u is equal to t into z. Z is nothing but d minus 0.42 xu. You know the value of t is 0.87 f i a s t into bracket d minus. Okay, d is the known value. Okay, depth you can easily measure even in your beam, uh, in in your home. If a structural element is there, okay, using a tape, you can easily measure, right? Okay, so here, D minus 0.42 is a, 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 the constant value with uh, uh, this uh, x u 0.42 into x u. X u is nothing but already we have derived the equation. Okay, so 0.87 f y s t divided by 0.36 f c k b. Now the x u is the unknown value and m u is the unknown value. Okay, apart from this, this These values can be easily found. Okay, so I'll tell you. So, so here it is 0.87 FIST into bracket D minus 0.42 into this x u value. I'll substitute this value here. Okay, 0.87 FIST divided by 0.36 FCK B. Okay. Now you just derive this equation. Okay, you you just simplify this equation. You'll get a final equation in this manner. Just simplify. I'm not able to solve here. Okay, you just simplify. Easily you can find out. Okay, that is 0.87 fy ast d into bracket 1 minus fy ast divided by fck bd okay if possible uh, by afternoon i'll send uh, i'll upload another video in my channel okay how to solve this one okay so it is mu is equal to 0.87 fy ast d into bracket 1 minus fy ast divided by fck bd okay this will be the derived equation it is also there in is 456 page number 96 okay so here 
we got these two equations one is where exactly the neutral axis falls and where exactly the moment of resistance is there. what is the exact moment of resistance okay especially in singly singly reinforced beams i'll tell you what exactly singly and doubly reinforced uh, are okay a singly reinforced beam uh, a moment of resistance of a singly reinforced beam can be calculated okay now uh, no i'll tell you if xcv is the unknown value from where you will get these values okay as i said we are finding capacity of beam in your home okay already it is built okay we need to find out the capacity of that beam okay so what i will do J just these datas will get at the home itself your home itself just you ask your parents or okay who built the, that uh, home just you ask okay if suppose beam is there so what is the size of beam easily you can measure breadth you can measure depth you can measure right okay so here it is fy grade of steel okay you might have uh, the purchase slips of a steel right okay so from there you get fe415 fe5 what grade of steel you used okay that you will get ast area of steel in tension okay how many reinforcement or how many bars you have provided okay easily can uh, you might have the structural drawings if not you might have uh, uh, you might have any dat data related to uh, the construction of beam right so here uh, while uh, doing construction somebody knows okay how many bars are Uh, uh, provided in that beam okay for example 4 of 12 mm 4 of 16 mm whatever it may be okay so that area total area for example 4 4 numbers of 16 mm is there okay pi by 4 d square pi by 4 into 16 square is area of one bar if if three bars are provided 3 into pi by 4 d square into 16 square that will get ast fck easily can find out uh, the grade of concrete one thing first you, you might have uh, ask your uh, uh, parents or who built that home so what grade of concrete they are used okay if you are not getting we have many uh, non destructive testing methods to find out the capacity of the concrete or capacity of the uh, that uh, capacity of concrete in the beam okay so you can conduct the capacity and easily can find out the grade of concrete okay and b is the breadth of beam width you can easily measure using tape right so these are uh, all the known values to find out unknown value that is xu and when it comes to mu even here also in this equation okay all are the known value fy is there ast i said you have to calculate d is the depth of beam again fy fck ast and b and d okay these are all the known values okay when it comes to when you take a beam okay when you take a beam easily you can find out or suppose if if construction is going on construction is going on still concrete is not pure uh, poured okay in that case what happens in that case steel concrete is not pure in that case what happen you can easily uh, uh, see the uh, reinforcement provided okay and tomorrow if concreting is there okay you, you will be known uh, about the grade of concrete okay so in that uh, situation what i will do okay if all the data if i i will get easily i can find out the unknown values xu as well as mu okay so these two equations are